Assalamu alaikum and, and Ramadan, Ramadan Kareem. We will be participating in Ramadan again this year. We will be fasting and praying alongside our Muslim friends. That was a very sandy prayer. We have been fasting for 11 hours now. Bismillah. Bismillah. Indulging in a mouth-watering iftar. Exploring the festivities in Old Jeddah. We have just arrived in one of our favourite places in Jeddah, Al Balad. I can't believe how busy it is. And meeting lots of friendly locals. I love Saudi people. <laughs> and we'll be answering the question that you've all been asking. Are we becoming Muslims? Good morning. Getting up this early never gets any easier. We literally have nothing. Did we not learn from last year's stock up? We have cheese. So I think we're gonna have a bit of fruit. We're making some eggs right now. I think I'm gonna grab some dates as well. Last year we were completely rushed for time and we were scrambling to eat sahur. This year we have given ourselves some more time so that we can actually relax and enjoy the food. You might remember Kaspar drinking a whole lot of water just before the countdown ended. This year it's a lot more relaxed because it was definitely a mistake drinking so much all in one go because it was so uncomfortable at prayer and then afterwards all we wanted to do was go to the bathroom and we couldn't get back to sleep. It's time for wudu. And we're done. I'm on my way down to the mosque now for the Fatih prayer. It's really dark and it's really early. Ooh, I think they're getting started now, so I better hurry up. just finished the first prayer of the day. It was actually a really nice experience. It was really peaceful and there was quite a few people turning up. So yeah, just all a really good experience and I really enjoyed it. We begin Salat by first making the intention from the heart to pray to Allah. We got a lot of comments on our last video saying that women don't actually have to go to the mosque to pray. So this is why this time we stayed at home and prayed while my dad went to the mosque. Okay, back to sleep again. Okay, we're off to Juma prayer. <laughs> we're here. So you're coming Hello. along? Yes. So that's my daughter, Ella. Hello. And my wife, Kylie. Hello. Hi, Samir. Very good. Hi, Samir. Hello. Hi. Hello. We are a little bit earlier today. The prayer will be around 12.30. But normally on Friday, we read uh, verses in Quran. It's called Surat Al-Kahf. It's Sunnah, which means Prophet Muhammad used to do it, so we do it. And now we have a chance to read it before prayer. We have the whole day to read it anytime, but normally I try to do it around this prayer. The Imam will give a, a little talk yeah. before the prayer. And normally it covers whatever is happening this week. So for example, I assume this week he will talk about Ramadan. Now it's the first week of Ramadan, the first Friday in Ramadan, what people should do during the rest of the month. One thing we learned from last year is to wear slides or sandals because it was so hard wearing sneakers and doing wudu and then quickly having to put them on and then rush back upstairs and then take them off again. So yeah, much easier with sandals. I just realized I have to take my scarf off and I just fixed it and made it all neat. But now we're doing wudu and I totally forgot 
have to do this one. Definitely a bit of Ramadan brain, totally forgot I had to take it off. So what does Ramadan mean to you? For me, it's kind of a, a peaceful month. It's the month to forgiveness, uh, to think about the poorer people when you fast, you feel thirsty, you feel hungry, you start to rethink about your life. Normally, we try to read the whole Quran during the month, pray more. So it brings us closer to, to God and uh, to our religion in general. Okay, well, thanks a lot for, for sharing that. Yeah. <laughs> We just finished the Friday Juma prayer. I've been really looking forward to experiencing it. Last year, unfortunately, I didn't get to experience the first Juma prayer of Ramadan because I wasn't feeling well. So it was a very peaceful experience today. However, there was an English translation reading after the prayer and I was really looking forward to hearing that in English as well. But I couldn't understand a single thing because the kids started kind of going rogue and running everywhere and screaming and chatting. That was a little bit distracting, but otherwise the first part of the prayer in Arabic was very peaceful. We're just about to leave to go into Jeddah to explore Al Balad tonight, so we're really looking forward to that. I think it will be Asra prayer while we're driving in there, so we might just stop along the road and do the Asra prayer on the way. We are currently on our way to Jeddah and we just missed the turn off to a mosque that we're going to pray at. We normally see plenty of people praying on the side of the road, so we're going to be one of them today. Lucky we brought our prayer mats, so let's go grab them. Oh my gosh, that was a very sandy prayer. I have sand in my teeth and in my eyes. I have sand all over my prayer mat. <laughs> oh my gosh, I guess that's what happens when you're praying in the middle of a desert in Saudi Arabia. We have just arrived in Jeddah and we still have a few hours until we break our fast. So what better way to pass the time than in Jeddah's new shopping mall, You Walk. Okay, not gonna lie, it's completely dead in here. <laughs> you could literally hear a pin drop. So yeah, this is not where people are at today during Ramadan. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is so pretty. So it's 299 stars, so that's about 90 US dollars. Just a disclaimer, if you want to come to U-Walk, maybe give it a few more weeks because there's still a lot of shops that are not open yet. But lovely air condition. This place also has a huge square with restaurants and shops, but unfortunately most of them are closed. So this place definitely has a lot of potential. Cannot wait to come back when everything is fully opened. Ramadan is a time to think of others that are less fortunate than ourselves. So giving to charity is a great thing to do during Ramadan. So this year our charity of choice is Ray of Light Cambodia, which is run by my special friend and colleague, Paul Underwood. The school is located in Phnom Penh in Cambodia and it supports poor and orphaned children. Give generously this Ramadan. If you would like to donate to Ray of Light Cambodia, we're gonna put the link in the description below so that you can support these children too. We have been fasting for 11 hours now. I'm getting pretty hungry, but throughout the day, it's actually been pretty okay. I think I've been pretty all right too, actually. I felt a little bit of a rumble in the belly around noon, but I haven't actually struggled too much with not drinking and not eating all day. I think the hardest thing has actually been to get up so early. I've been feeling a bit tired all day from not sleeping that much, 
So that's probably been the most of a struggle today. What has kept us awake today though is playing some games. We played a bit of Jenga, we played some Cluedo, and then we laid and watched some Netflix on the couch and snoozed a little bit. Fasting on a weekend is definitely harder. You don't have the distractions like you do when you go to work and when Ella goes to school, she's got classes. Definitely on the weekend, there's a lot more thinking about food and the fridge and drinking. I was really missing my cup of tea today. I call it boredom hunger. When you're just like bored, so you feel like snacking or something, I was getting a lot of that boredom hunger today. Let us know down in the comments, what do you do to distract yourself from hunger during Ramadan? 10 minutes, 10 minutes, yes. So one more minute to go. I can't wait to bite into those days and have some water. We're actually sitting in the car park of Ubalk. There's a mosque located right here. So it's very convenient. You can go do your shopping, come and pray, all in the one location. Having said that though, there's pretty much a mosque on every street corner here in Jeddah, so you can't miss them. I'm spacing out right now. I need a sugar kick. <laughs> it's time to eat. Okay. Bismillah. Bismillah. Mm. That was nice. Mm. It's now time for some water, but we made a little mistake last year and so many of you have told us about it. You wrote it in the comments and you let us know that we shouldn't be cheersing before we drink water to break our fast. It's literally something that we do in Australia anytime that we drink anything just to wish the people that we're drinking with uh, good health and happiness. Someone in the comments put it there last year and said that Mohammed drank with five small sips before he actually started to drink more just to get his body used to drinking again. So yeah, so I think we should we should do that too. Okay, let's go do wudu and then we're off to pray. Oh my gosh, that was such a nice prayer tonight. The Imam, wow, what an amazing voice. It was just so beautiful. It was like putting me into some type of meditative state. It was amazing. Yeah. What did you think? Yeah, he had a very nice voice. Yeah, it almost made me a bit emotional listening. It was just really, really beautiful. We have just arrived at our restaurant for iftar. Come on, let's go. It's a traditional Saudi restaurant. No, I'm just kidding. It's Nando's, but it is one of our favorite restaurants here in Jeddah. So let's go, let's go eat. Maybe? <laughs> no? Nope. It's not open. Push it harder? Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> We are here at our favorite restaurant, Nando's. You're probably wondering, why is it so special? Nando's exists all over the world. Well, I am here to tell you that the one here in Jeddah is absolutely amazing and definitely the best we've tasted. The chicken is so juicy and tender. The chips are crispy with the right amount of peri-peri spice. It is amazing. They have items on their menu that you don't see at any other Nando's. Look at this. This is absolutely delicious and it's dripping with all this delicious peri-peri goodness. I can't wait to get into it and I have my Saudi lemon mint which I'm very excited about as well perfect iftar time for the chip test mm. 
so good. It's delicious. Cool. This door again. Okay. <laughs> we have just arrived in one of our favourite places in Jeddah, Al Balad. Okay, let's go and explore what's happening for Ramadan. We are currently walking in a square with lots and lots of food stores set up. Oh my gosh, everything smells absolutely delicious. It is almost making me consider having a second iftar. Oh my gosh, they have stalls. And you know what that means? A buyer shopping. Let's go and have a look. <laughs> Can you see there's a bit of a smoky haze in the air? Well, that is incense and they are really burning it. That is for sure. It is really potent. It's making my nose tickle but it smells really good though. It's really cute stalls they have here and it's really busy here in Al Balad. I think this could be a late night. We have been to Al Balad so many times, but this is the first time during Ramadan. I can't believe how busy it is. Everyone is just out and about, especially after the Isha prayer. It's quite a vibe and quite an atmosphere. Just walking past the Al Shafi Mosque, which is one of the oldest mosques in Jeddah. They are currently doing Tarawir. I love all the fairy lights during Ramadan. It is so pretty. Oh my gosh, yes. Hello. Ah, oh, that's so How is nice. It? Really? Yeah. You like it? I was yeah. feeling so hot. So, yeah. <laughs> that's so nice. I'm going to stay here all night. You're going to okay. get a sore arm. Okay, no problem. See. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's actually pretty hot tonight. So that was really nice. That's so cute. He's just fanning everybody that's walking past. <laughs> I can't. Why Saudi people so cute? I just, I love Saudi people. <laughs> Seriously, the hospitality is crazy here. We just keep getting invited to go and have drinks with people. I feel like any time I go out in Saudi, I just get the sorest mouth and the sorest jaw because I'm just constantly smiling at how cute these people are. Like every time it happens, I get like a headache from smiling too much because everyone is just so friendly. Come to his uh, house. His house? Yes, his house. His, yes. <laughs> You're following Check his house. Check out my followers. Oh, the July. Oh. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Are you a family? family? Yes. Uh, really? Yes. Where are you from, guys? Australia. Australia. Yeah. 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 Say hi. <laughs> Say hi. When I go, hi. I love you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> We had a lovely time meeting some of our subscribers. We ended up having some delicious Arabic coffee and some great conversation. I actually didn't know this, but the traditional way to pour it is actually with your left hand, and I'm not a left-hander, so I feel like this is gonna be very difficult, very challenging. Okay. Right, give it a go. Oh, it is heavy. Yeah, what the? Oh, yeah. oh gosh, okay. Come on, go, go, go. Up, up, up. up. <laughs> You failed. I tried. <laughs> I <You> failed. failed. <laughs> I okay. did fail. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so I will do it in the right way. Wow. That's pretty good. That's it. So Mashallah. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like I was just totally overthinking it and making it seem way more difficult because that really looked very easy. We've just finished at the cafe and we've just come back out onto the street and oh my gosh, there are 10 times more people than there were before. It is certainly really, really busy. It's about 11 o'clock at night and I don't think it's going to get quiet anytime soon. Nope. <laughs> it's so nice. Everyone's out with their families and just hanging out. So festive. We've actually run into quite a number of subscribers and viewers here tonight. It's been so nice meeting everybody. Yep. So yeah, it's been a lot of fun. It's certainly a lively place here in Al Balad. We didn't expect to see camels walking around, so it's all happening. 
We plan to have a dinner tonight here in Albalard, but we realise that there's actually not very many restaurants. It's mostly cafes. Check out this cute cafe behind me. That is the biggest coffee pot I have ever seen. They really have the best coffee shops here. So if you are a coffee guru, this is definitely the place you need to come. It's come to the time in the video where we're going to answer the question that everyone has been asking us. Are we becoming Muslims? Currently we are not Muslims and we are really enjoying immersing ourselves in the religion, in the culture here in Saudi Arabia. And we feel like religion is not something that you joke around with. It's not a game. It's very serious. It's a part of your life. It's a part of who you are as a person. You can't just convert to any form of religion overnight. It's something that you have to consider, take your time, really think about and you know when the feeling is right, when it feels good in your heart, that's when I think that you know it's the right thing to do. It has been so rewarding, so humbling to be able to participate in Ramadan last year and again this year and immersing ourselves fully in the experience has been just life-changing. We really want to give a big shout out to everyone who has commented on our videos and given us advice. You know we've learned a lot over the last year or so we've really tried to get better and you know do a better job this year <laughs> we want to make you all proud <laughs> really oh okay I'm getting emotional and it's such a special opportunity to live in the place where Islam was born so we want to really immerse ourselves in that and embrace it what do I like about Islam uh, I love the way that people are really kind they're very generous very hospitable I love the family aspect the just family aspect, the way yes. it really gets everyone together and you can just see the closeness in the families and I think that has a lot to do with the religion in Saudi Arabia in particular we feel the safest that we have ever felt anywhere in the world and I know that some people are probably going to comment from outside of Saudi Arabia and probably criticize me for saying that but it is our actual true feelings I've never slept better <laughs> living here in Saudi Arabia I feel like we can walk the streets and we always feel comfortable we know that there's always going to be someone there to help us if we need help people are super honest and trustworthy we have such a great impression of the Saudi people and I really feel like this is all a reflection on the religion as well we want to share the beauty of Islam with everybody around the world because we feel like it's had a bad rap in the media and I feel like it's been super unfair we want to show that you can immerse yourselves in other religions, other cultures, you can gain an appreciation and understanding, you can build bridges across cultures. It is so powerful in terms of compassion and empathy. If we can share that with the rest of the world and spread that message of positivity and inclusiveness, then this is exactly why we're making videos. I think our aim with these videos is to really just destroy all those preconceived notions and just show Islam as it is and our beautiful experience that we have had with it and teach people to be open-minded and just actually showcase the religion for itself without all the negative stuff on the media. And also not to be afraid of other cultures. I feel like once you're afraid, you start putting people in the category of you know the us and them I mean we wouldn't have lived here for six and a half years if we didn't feel welcome in this country it is really changed our perception as well on the religion and the culture and yeah we really hope that through our videos we can share that with the rest of the world we've tried to be as raw as possible with you with this so that you can see our true feelings about this and that we are really real and we're genuine and we mean what we're saying when we say that we fully want to learn about this we love Saudi Arabia we we're just loving our experience so I think they can see that I, the I hope tears. they can I hope, I hope that it's coming across thank you so much to everyone for for all the support we we really really appreciate it we have just arrived at another one of the main squares here in Al Balad and they have food trucks they have this massive screen set up which they were playing football before they have people playing foosball board games yeah it's all happening very busy here I just don't know how people function during Ramadan it's 12 a.m. and I'm sure people aren't going home until around anytime 1 or 2 anytime soon. But then you have to get up for Sahur at around 5 a.m. They're barely getting any sleep. It's crazy. I guess they probably sleep a lot during the day. I feel like everyone's just like flipped everything and become nocturnal. I think that's the way to do it. This is so crazy. We just ran into our friends from Saudi National Day. Okay, they're getting all shy on camera now. But that's actually so random. We just bumped into them. They're like, remember we hung out at Saudi National Day? Yeah. Say hi. Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. Oh, <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, thank you. Good to see you again, guys. <laughs> we keep bumping into different friends that we've met all over Saudi Arabia. <laughs> We really hope that you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any of our exciting adventures. Ramadan Karim from our family to yours. See you next time on Living the Joe Life. <laughs> we have another banana as well. Stop. <laughs> Smell a bit like banana. Feels a bit soft too. I feel like they're going to get cancelled for food waste there. Probably. Oh, everyone has rotten bananas. <laughs> Ramadan Kareem! <laughs> Do you want to share with us what's going on? <laughs> I get a little... I don't know, what's it called? Quirky? I don't know, I get a little emotional when I'm really hungry. What? You were just laughing before. <laughs> can go from here to here. Love dates. Love dates. Tell us about dates, how do they make you feel? You actually never tried a date before coming to Saudi Arabia. Yeah, and like literally five years into living in Saudi Arabia, I hadn't tried a date. Don't know what I was thinking. I was, I've been totally missing out. Very nourishing. Trade nourishing. Good for the bowel movements. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely time for a date. <laughs> Not a romantic date though. Not with Ella here. No, that's true. <laughs> for later. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That sounded seedy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Guys, it's Ramadan. Calm down.